In this video we are going to scan a folder or a subfolder for the files in there and plot them in an Excel spreadsheet. Perhaps you used to do that with file search, but since 2007 and 2013 there is no file search anymore. You have to do this with the function dir, D-I-R. Dir is a little bit counterintuitive. What it does is the following. It looks for the first file in a certain path and maybe of a certain type, in my case .xlsx, and it returns the first file. If there is no first file, S file will be empty. So we keep doing that until S file is an empty string. And what is so nice about there, that once it has found one file, it will look for the second one and the third one. So we keep looping and ask there each time what is your next file, what is your next file. It doesn't need any arguments anymore. So with that dir function we are going to do the following. Does a file exist? Scan the current folder, scan subfolders or files, and then list all folders and files in a certain folder. So let's go for Visual Basic. Here is the first subroutine. Check whether a file exists. I need a few variables. And let's say we are looking for the file in C Windows backslash notepad dot exe. Does that ex it probably does on most machines. So we ask dir, does that S file exist? And it, it gives that name back to S response. If S response happens to be an empty string, then the message box should be no, else the message box should be yes. That should work fine. Let's test it. Control Shift C, that is the shortcut I gave to that thing, and it says on my machine, yes, that file does exist. Now the next one. List all the files. After introducing a few, few variables, we create automatically a new sheet by adding a sheet to the collection of worksheets and capture that with the variable OWS of the worksheet type. Let's just scan the current folder. So that path is active workbook dot path. That includes everything up to but not including the last backslash. So S file should look for that path but not including the last backslash and then backslash asterisk dot asterisk if you want any kind of files or dot xlsx if you want only excel files. And then we do that famous do loop do until S file is an empty string or while it's not an empty string. And then we put that S path and S file in the first cell. I is 0 to start with, plus 1 is 1, comma 1. So that is cell A1. And then we need to call there again. Are there more files? And don't forget to bring I up by 1. Otherwise next time it will just plot it in the same cell. And we keep looping. If it didn't find anything, if i is zero, it didn't go through the loop, then no files were found. Then let's run it. And we will find now a listing of 27 files in my YouTube videos folder. The next one. List folders or files. This time I'm also going to use an array with open close parentheses of the string type. I need a few other variables. I, this time I'm going to ask the user which file name do you want to open? Application.get open file name. I change the directory to my active workbook path. If that get open file name returns a false string, then we exit the sub. 
Otherwise, we take from S file the left part up to and including the not including the backslash. And then I ask the user, do you want to scan the files or the subfolders? So I give them an option. If they say yes, I set as file to the dir function of as path, and then I hook onto that a, a, a general filter backslash asterisk dot asterisk. Do while as file is not empty. Then I'm going to read them with preserve, so don't throw away what you have already. In the array array list, item i, that is the first time zero. Arrays always start at zero. They are zero based. Everything in Excel is one based usually. So I put in that first item the file name. I call dir again. Bring i up by one. If I don't find anything, no files found. Now let's say people want to find out whether there are subfolders in that path. Then I have to use a second argument, a VB directory. Fortunately, unfortunately, it's only one subfolder deep, otherwise it gets very complicated. So we do basically the same thing again. We do until S folder is an empty string, but this time we use also the function get attributes, S path and S folder, and VB directory type, if that happens to be a VB directory type, store it in an array, bring that array in with S folder, call there again, bring I up by one, we loop, if I happens to be zero, no folders found. All, the only thing now is I have to put that array in cells. I split that operation later on you will see probably why. So I add a new worksheet and in cell 1,1, 2,1 I store the first element of the array, etc. Remember arrays are zero based, so they should start at zero, but cells are one based. That is Control Shift L. We are going to test it. Control Shift L. It's going to ask me in which folder do you want to be. Let's say in the same folder. And let's say I want to find the files in that folder. And these are the files we found in that folder. This time I didn't put the entire path there. But that's a matter of changing your code. Then the more, much more complicated one. I want files and subfolders. We use the get open file name again. I don't have to explain the next steps. But now I'm going to call another sub that is coming soon with two variables on which sheet index do we want it and on which path. And here is that subroutine. Scan the directory with two arguments, the path of the string type and sheet of the long type. I declare a variable again that is of the array kind. I set i array to zero. I will explain later why. I set s file to the dir function of s path with a general filter, but of the VB directory type. So I'm scanning first for the directories. Then all of this is basically the same as what we discussed before. We store it in an array again, and if it's of the VB directory type, then we store it in there. Active cell value S path and S value. I'm doing the full path again and not just S file. And I activate that cell. We bring S file up again with the next directory call. And we keep looping until S file returns an empty string. 
Then if I array that has been brought up here by 1, if that is greater than 0, that means there are subfolders, then I am going to, and that is the, the difficult part of this subroutine, I'm going to call scan there again. So it's a recursive call. Here is scan there. And I call scan there again with S folders I and I sheet. And that is basically it. I know it's a very complicated one, but if you want both, you have to do a recursive call. And if you want more sub and subfolders, more subfolders deep, then you have to do recursive actions m much more. I will leave that up to you. I'm just going to call this one, which is the last one, list folders and files, control shift F. And this time I'm going to use one that does have subdirectories. Click on any file, open it, and it gave me a listing of 41 files. And notice that these files are all in a subfolder. The ones above it are the files itself. And then it went, went into this subfolder, and then that subfolder, and finally that subfolder. And it showed the files in those subfolders. I know that last one was not easy, but sometimes you need that kind of help. There is much more to Excel VBA. I have tools for you that give you much more insight in what we just did and probably much more understanding and much more capability of changing things to your needs. These are free CD-ROMs, two books that will help you. Uh, please be aware that the Excel 2007 VBA will work fine for almost every issue, but there is also an Excel 2013 coming, the beginning of next year, which is 2014 at this time. Uh, that new v VBA CD will be even much better and much more comprehensive. You can find all of this at genesispc.com.